हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई से अकेडमी In this lecture, let us understand channel or a medium in a communication system. Generally, a channel will act as a path between a transmitter and a receiver. So, it will act as a path between transmitter and a receiver. So, whatever signal that is transmitted by a transmitter that will pass through channel and it will be received by the receiver. once the signal is processed by a transmitter this signal passes through a channel or a medium and it is received by the receiver once the signal is processed by the transmitter this process signal will passes through a channel or a medium and it is received by the receiver that is at the other end of the channel the medium between transmitter and a receiver is known as a channel so channel is medium between transmitter and a receiver so always you need to remember channel is very important part of communication system so channel is a very important part of communication system here most of the noise is added into the signal during transmission through the channel right once the signal is transmitted through a transmitter to a receiver through a channel a noise will be added into the signal so the noise will be added into the signal once the signal is transmitted through a transmitter to a receiver also channel imposes the constraints on bandwidth here bandwidth is the range of frequencies that can be transmitted by a communication system so here channel imposes some constraints on bandwidth so it will impose some limitations or constraints on bandwidth here bandwidth is the range of frequencies that can be transmitted by a communication system also channel characteristics are taken into consideration as design parameters while designing transmitting and receiving equipments also here the channel characteristics are considered as design parameter while designing the transmitting and receiving equipments so generally we can say that a transmitting power signal bandwidth and cost of communication system are affected by channel characteristics so generally we can say the transmitting power signal bandwidth and cost of communication systems are affected by channel characteristics there are two types of channels first one is hardware channel and second one is a software channel first let us see the hardware channel hardware channels are man made structures that can be used as transmission medium so hardware channels are man made structures that can be used for transmission medium there are three possible implementations in hardware channel first one is a transmission line second one is wave guide and third one is optical fiber optical fiber cables which is ofc example of transmission lines are twisted pair cables that are used in telephone lines and coaxial cables that are used in cable tv transmission transmission lines are not suitable for ultra high frequency transmission that's why wave guides are used for ultra high frequency transmission here wave guides are hollow circular or rectangular metallic structures here transmission line are not suitable for ultra high frequency transmission for ultra high frequency transmission wave guides are used wave guides are hollow circular or rectangular metallic structures 
the signal enter the waveguide or reflected by metallic walls and then propagates to other end of the waveguide once the signal enters the waveguide these signals are reflected by metallic walls of the waveguide and then it propagates to other end of the waveguide optical fibers are highly sophisticated transmission medium which is in the form of extremely thin circular pipes here the signals are transmitted in the form of light so optical fibers are highly sophisticated transmission medium in the form of extremely thin circular pipes here the signals are transmitted in the form of light so generally a communication system that make use of hardware channel is called as line communication system example of line communication system is landline phones and cable tv network so generally a communication system that make use of hardware channel are known as line communication system example of line communication system is landline phones and cable tv network now let us understand software channels there are some natural resources that can be used as a transmission medium for transmission of signals such transmission mediums are known as software channels example of natural resources that can be used as transmission medium are air or open space and sea water there are some natural resources that can be used as transmission medium for transmission of signal such type of mediums are known as software channels example of software channels are air or open space and sea water in communication that uses software channel there is no physical link between transmitter and receiver here the transmitter passes the signal in required form to software channel the signal then propagates through natural resources and reach the receiver in communication that uses software channel there is no physical link between transmitter and receiver since we are using natural resources as the transmission medium or a channel if we say natural resources which means we are using air or open space and sea water for transmission of channel so transmitter passes the signal to software channel the signal propagates through the natural resources and reaches the receiver the most widely used software channel is air or open space here the signal is transmitted in the form of electromagnetic waves which is also known as radio waves this radio wave travel through the open space at a speed of light which is c is equal to 3 into 10 to the power of 8 ms inverse the most widely used software channel is air or open space the signal is transmitted in the form of electromagnetic waves which are em wave which is also known as radio waves these radio waves will travel with the speed of light here the transmitter section will convert signal into em waves electromagnetic waves by using transmitting antenna this transmitting antenna radiates the em wave into open space at receiver end the receiving antenna are used to pick up these radio waves or em waves and convert these electromagnetic waves into electrical signals this system that uses em waves or radio waves to transmit the signal through open space are called as 
रेडियो कम्युनिकेशन सिस्टम एग्जाम्पल ऑफ रेडियो कम्युनिकेशन सिस्टम और सैटेलाइट कम्युनिकेशन रेडियो ब्रॉडकास्ट सेल्युलर मोबाइल कम्युनिकेशन टेलीविजन ट्रांसमिशन एक्सेट्रा हियर द ट्रांसमीटर विल कन्वर्ट द सिग्नल इन टू एलेक्ट्रो मैग्नेटिक वेव बै यूजिंग ट्रांसमीटिंग एंटेना द ट्रांसमीटिंग एंटेना देन रेडिएट्स दीज एलेक्ट्रो मैग्नेटिक वेवस इन टू ओपन स्पेस एट द रिसीविंग एंड द रिसीवर विल हैव रिसीविंग एंटेना दिस रिसीविंग एंटेना विल पिकअप दीज एलेक्ट्रो मैग्नेटिक वेवस और रेडियो वेवस एंड कन्वर्ट दीज इन टू एलेक्ट्रिकल सिग्नल्स सो दिस इज द प्रोसेस ऑफ ट्रांसमिशन एंड रिसिप्शन इन केस ऑफ सॉफ्टवेयर चैनल्स द सिस्टम दैट यूजेस एलेक्ट्रो मैग्नेटिक वेवस और रेडियो वेवस फॉर कम्युनिकेशन इज नोन एज रेडियो कम्युनिकेशन सिस्टम example of radio communication system is satellite communication radio broadcasting television transmission and cellular mobile communication this is about channel or medium hope you have understood the topic thank you